Uh, so if you're suffering depression and have been prescribed uh, like different antibiotics and they're not working for you or you're getting bad side effects or even if you're just interested in this topic this might be something you might want to listen to so i'm not telling you to do this but i've done the research so you don't have to to make sure you talk to your doctor before you choose to do anything i'm not telling you to do this I'm not telling you to do this so if you if you decide to do it it's your choice not mine so magic mushrooms shrooms whatever you know them as hundreds of tests have been done on, on these mushrooms to see the uh, like to see the effects that they have on the brain. Okay, so they contain an alkaloid called psilocybin, like, which has hallucinogenic effects in the brain, but it, it's also very effective and, re and very efficient in sort of like taking over your brain. So on some of these studies, patients have been given a single dose of psilocybin, and uh, like one dose isn't enough to have like hallucinogenic effects, so it's not gonna. I like you're not going to start tripping fucking bollocks and start seeing start seeing lizards dancing across the room, but it's enough, and it's had uh, like it's it's had like out uh, like extremely outstanding positive uh, effects for the for these patients who are suffering with uh, uh, like depression and anxiety and everything. So fMRI scans have been uh, like completed on the brain, and it's showing uh, like connections like sort of being lost in the brain. Like so originally, scientists believed that. Uh, like when on psilocybin, uh, like they believed originally that it sort of like excited your brain, but it's not. It's actually the sort of opposite. It's like so, the fMRI scans, like they've shown that it reduces neural firing communication in the brain. So parts of the brain which are related to anxiety and depression are essentially being sort of torn apart from each other. So, so uh, like so you're not sort of trapped in this anxiety and depression phase. Like they won't stay that way forever, but the effects do last a few months. So in a more recent study, participants were given a 25 milligram dose of psilocybin and uh, like they all had positive results, but 29% of these people, they're all suffering something called treatment resistant depression, which is like becoming more and more common. Like So in uh, like, so the US, like there's 8.9 million people roughly who are on antidepressants, but 2.9 million of the people are all resistant to these depress uh, uh, like the antidepressants like so they're not actually so they're not actually doing anything for them like they're not helping them because they're uh, like because they've got this thing called treatment resistant depression so in the UK it's been taken like very seriously reaching phase three in in testing which is uh, uh, like which that is the step before it's passed to the FD, uh, like passed passed to the FDA for its approval and then psilocybin is is the only hallucinogenic drug. Uh, like to ever reach this phase so there's a pharmaceutical company in uh, the uk called compass pathways and they are uh, like they're starting up a new research which is expected to have roughly 900 participants from 14 different countries but the study is meant to be wrapped a uh, lot like completed by 2025 so dr steve levine who's one of like the vice presidents he stated that they're building off previous research because it shows its safety with with using psilocybin but that gives us a lot of hope that potentially within a few years' time, we could bring this through a regulatory approval and hopefully to patients who really need it. Because obviously, he's doing these studies because he wants it to be passed through to uh, like the FDA for its uh, like regular pharmaceutical use and, and uh, like be actually provided to people who truly suffer with like resistant uh, uh, like treatment, resistant depression, and help them. Because it's, because it's a massive thing and it's... it's a very common thing that people struggle with. So there's a lot of positive effects which come from the use of psilocybin, but uh, like the same with anything, like the same as like you drink too much alcohol, you have a hangover in the morning, uh, like you do, uh, like you smoke too much weed, you might feel a bit sort, sort of groggy in the morning, I don't know. But like, so you can sort, sort of get the same sort of effects from psilocybin, which uh, like that's only if like you use it stupidly and like you're not like careful with with uh, like with the way you use it. So in the same study by Compass Pathways, 79 participants were like, uh, like were tested on a higher dosage, which is 25 milligram. And unfortunately, two of the 79 patients, they experienced like suicidal thoughts. Then also two people on the uh, like the lower dose, which is 10 milligram, uh, like they also experienced suicidal thoughts. But fortunately, none of these people had any suicide attempts or anything. It was just the suicidal thought. And like these people didn't like really respond positively to the psilocybin treatment. So it doesn't work for all, but uh, like you kind of got like a 50-50 chance, like never go into something thinking, oh, like this is going to work.
it's going to work. I'm going to, I'm going to feel happy after this. No, like if, if like you ever do choose to do it, uh, like to help treat your, uh, uh, like depression, uh, 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 like never expect it to work for you. Due to there being such a small number of people experiencing these thoughts that uh, like they were unsure whether to actually relate it to, uh, like the use of the psilocybin or not. But so as I said before, people with like treatment resistant depression, like they put their last hopes into. Uh, like the psilocybin treatment working and when it doesn't it can it can obviously be a big a big hit for you because that's kind of your last hope and you kind of uh, like you're out of hope so there's still a lot more treatment than he's doing before it becomes a regulated treatment for depression but it's still something to look forward to in the future but so in most countries uh, like magic mushrooms are a class a drug so like, so as i said i'm not telling you to do this i'm not passing it on to you i'm just saying how it could be potentially one day a treatment for depression. If there's anything like you'd like me to talk about related to psilocybin, please let me know in the comments. If there's anything you want me to talk about related to a completely different topic, just let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to talk about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.